Running a marathon is more than just physical grit. It's a 42.2 kilometer deep dive into your limits. So let's break it down from start to finish. Let's start at the start line. As the gun goes off, your heart rate spikes. Adrenaline floods your bloodstream. Muscles wake up, oxygen demand rises, and blood gets pumped toward your working muscles. You feel great, almost too great. This is when many runners go out too fast, riding the surge of excitement and energy. Settling into your stride. Between kilometers 5 and 15, your body finds a rhythm. Breathing becomes more efficient. Glycogen is your main fuel source, those stored carbs in your muscles and liver. With every step, you're sweating out electrolytes and water, even if you don't feel it yet. The efficiency zone. From 15 to 30 kilometers, you're in what's called the efficiency zone. If you've trained well, your body's moving economically, conserving glycogen, and avoiding spikes in effort. Behind the scenes, your energy stores are slowly draining, and your brain starts monitoring. Can we hold this pace? Hitting the wall. Between 30 and 35 kilometers, many runners hit the wall. Why? Glycogen stores are almost gone. The body now shifts to burning fat, a slower process that doesn't supply energy as fast. Your legs feel heavy. Your stride shortens. Your brain, sensing danger, starts throwing up mental roadblocks. Final push. The last seven kilometers are all about grit. You're running on emotional fuel, cheers from the crowd, your own willpower, maybe even a mantra in your head. Muscle fibers are breaking down. Inflammation is rising. But somehow, you keep going. After the finish line. Once you stop running, your immune system temporarily dips. Inflammation spikes. You might feel amazing, or totally wrecked. That's normal. The body's been through an endurance roller coaster.